What would it be like in a world without energy? It would be very dark and quiet. Nothing would move. It would also be very empty because plants, animals and people could not live without energy. Energy at work. Can you do this without energy? Can these machines work without energy? Can this plane take off without energy? What about this boat? Can it move without energy? Can this happen without energy? But what is energy? Light is a form of energy. Energy can make a train run. Care for a drink? Let this machine serve you. This machine too needs energy to work. So we say that energy makes things happen. Energy is needed to do work. You may not always see or feel energy, but energy is all around us. There are different forms of energy. Let's look at some of them. Kinetic energy, heat energy, light energy, sound energy, and electrical energy. Let's take a look at kinetic energy. Anything that moves has movement energy. Movement energy is also called kinetic energy. When you walk, you have kinetic energy. The faster you walk, the more kinetic energy you have. Here's a walking robot. It too has kinetic energy. All things that move have kinetic energy. Let's now look at heat energy. The sun gives out heat energy. Heat energy from the sun makes us feel warm. We also use it to dry our wet clothes. To remove creases from our clothes, we use heat energy from the iron. When wood is burnt, it gives out heat energy. Heat energy makes changes in things. It can change water into steam and cook the food we eat. Now let's take a look at light energy. Can you see in the dark? Oh, that's better. The lighted match gives off light energy. Light energy allows us to see things around us even when it is dark. When you switch on a lamp, there is light energy. The light moves out in all directions, so fast that it seems to be everywhere at once. Without the light energy from the sun, the earth would always be in darkness. 
Let's now look at sound energy. When you clap, sound energy is produced. Sound energy is produced when someone rings the doorbell. Sound energy is produced when you talk or when you sing. Another form of energy is electrical energy. Electrical energy can be produced in a power station. We need electrical energy to operate many types of machines and equipment. Your computer needs electrical energy to work. So does the overhead projector and the fax machine. Traffic lights need electrical energy to work. You have learned that energy comes in different forms. They are kinetic energy, heat energy, light energy, sound energy, and electrical energy. Can you think of other examples for each form of energy? Energy changes from one form to another. You have learned that energy is needed to do work and that there are different forms of energy. Do you know that one form of energy can be changed into another form? When you turn on the radio, electrical energy is changed into sound energy. When you clap your hands, the kinetic energy in your moving hands is changed into sound energy which we can hear. What energy change takes place when you switch on an electric fan? Yes, electrical energy is changed into kinetic energy when the blades move. On a very hot day, you can try this. Direct the sun's rays with a magnifying glass onto a piece of paper and watch this happen. Light energy from the sun is changed into heat energy which burns the paper. These steel bars have been heated. They are red hot. Some of the heat energy has been changed into light energy. Sometimes one form of energy can be changed into two or more forms. Every time you turn on the TV set, electrical energy is changed into light energy and sound energy. In this photocopier, electrical energy is changed into light, sound and kinetic energy. Can you think of other examples where one form of energy is changed into another form? Energy can be stored. Have you ever heard of stored energy? What makes this toy car move? 
there is a spring inside it. When you wind up the spring, you are storing energy in the spring. This stored energy is called potential energy. When you let go of the car, the potential energy stored in the spring is changed into kinetic energy when the car moves. When a bow is stretched, it has potential energy. When the string is released, the stored potential energy is changed into the kinetic energy of the moving arrow. This piling machine is driving the bar into the ground. The bars help to support the building. When the hammer is held up in the air, it has potential energy. When the hammer falls, potential energy is changed into kinetic energy. This kinetic energy is put to work, driving the bar into the ground. So, potential energy is one form of stored energy. Potential energy is stored when a spring is wound up or a bow is stretched. Potential energy is also stored in anything that is held above the ground. Another form of energy that can be stored is chemical energy. To find your way in a dark room, you may use a torch. The torch works on dry cells. There is chemical energy stored in the dry cells. When you turn on the torch, the chemical energy stored in the dry cells is changed into electrical energy. This lights up the bulb in the torch. Do you know that energy found in food is also known as chemical energy? This chemical energy is stored in our bodies when we eat. When we do work or move about, the chemical energy stored in our bodies is changed into kinetic energy. So, Energy can be stored in the form of potential energy and chemical energy. Fuels have chemical energy stored in them. Coal and crude oil are fuels. When fuels are burnt, the stored chemical energy is changed into heat energy. We get petrol from crude oil. When petrol is burnt in the engine of a car, the chemical energy stored in it is changed into heat energy. This heat energy is then changed into kinetic energy when the car moves. Fuel oil is also used to generate electrical energy in a power station. When fuel oil is burnt in the furnace, the chemical energy stored in the oil is changed into heat energy. This heat energy is used to boil water. The steam from the boiling water turns the turbines. The kinetic energy of the turbines runs the generators that produce electrical energy. Electrical energy is very important in our lives. Can you imagine life without electrical energy? Most things won't work. The fuels we need to produce electrical energy will not last forever. The more electrical energy we use, the faster our fuel supply will run out. So, save energy.